Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 26. First, the input table. Over here, we have the phone log table and it has three columns namely source phone number, destination phone number, and call start date time. This table records all the phone numbers that we dial in a given day. If you see, so for source, uh, source phone number 2345, we have total 5 entries and it has, that's for, that source phone number has dialed to different destinations phone number that is, you can see 6789-1234 likewise. And column call start date time, it captures the date as well as the time at which the call has been made so if you can see the call for uh, uh, source phone number 2345 call has been made at 10 o'clock 11 call 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 13 o'clock and 15 o'clock similarly for the source phone number 3311 we have three entries in the this table and the call has been made at 10 o'clock 12 o'clock and 13 o'clock on 1st july 2012 now let's see the problem statement. Write a SQL query to display the source phone number and a flag where the flag needs to be set to Y if the first call number and last call number are same and N if first call number and last call number are different. So if you see the source phone number 2345 we have total 5 entries for the uh, date 1st July 2012 and if you see the uh, first call number that is 6789 and the last call number that is 6789 again. So both first call number and last call number are same. We have to display in the output table uh, with, a, uh, with a additional column as is underscore match column and we have to give the flag as y. If you see the uh, for source number uh, 3311 we have the first first call number as 7890 and the last call number is 1234. So here the first call number and the last call number are different. That's why we are populating as a flag as and for the source phone, source phone number 3311. So this is what the requirement is. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. There are two ways by which we can solve this problem. But before proceeding further, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire this select query. So this is our input table. Now our first motto is to find the first call made and the last call made for each distinct source phone number. So we can get the first call made and the last call made based on the call start date time. So the first call made will be having the least time and the, uh, and the last call uh, made will be having the maximum time. So based on that if we will be able to find the first call made and the last call made and after that we can easily compare and we can get the get, and we, we can come to the uh, to the desired result so let's write the sql query so select star from this phone log table let me substitute, substitute a star with all the column name, source phone number, destination phone number, and call start date time. Now, I will be deriving two more columns. So for that, first I'm going to write row number function after that I will be using over clause and inside the over clause I am going to write partition by 
partition by we have to partition by source phone number so i'm going to use this column name and then i have to order by you have to order by call start date type so i'm going to copy this column and going to write over here and then i'm going to close the parenthesis and give alias as let's say rank first now i'll create another column i'll just copy this row here i'm going to order by call start date time but this time in the descending order so i'm going to use desk keyword and this time i'll give alias as rank last so if i run this small piece of code you can see we got the two ranking first is the rank first and the second row is the rank last so if you see the rank first column we have the rank first value equal to 1 where we uh, the time call start date time is the least so for this uh, for source phone number 2345 we have the call start date time as uh, 10 o'clock on 1st July 2012 and it is having rank first value equal to 1 and similarly for the source phone number 3311 it is having rank first equal to value equal to 1 where the call start date time value is the least similarly in the rank last column we have the rank la uh, rank last column value equal to 1 where the call start date time is maximum so if you see the source phone number where it is 2345 the maximum time is 15 o'clock on 1st july 2012 so it is ranked as 1 similarly for source phone number 3311 we are having rank 1 for uh, the maximum time call start date time that is 13 o'clock on 1st july 2012 so we got the rank first and rank last now we have to filter it let's see how we can do this so i will place this full code in a sub query so we'll give we'll give as let's see a and i'm going to write then select select source phone number and then i'm going to use case statement case when rank first is equal to 1 then we want destination phone number so we'll copy this we'll paste it over here then end and we'll give as alias as first call let's say as first call now I'll comma now I'll copy this again I'll give rank last is equal to 1 then destination phone number and we'll make it as end call now I'm going to select from this sub query I'll remove this as comma so if I run this code so you can see we are able to get first call 689 and the end call 689 for this source phone number and for 3311 we got the first call, uh, first call as 7890 and the end call as 1234 now we have to get this uh, rid of this null value so how we can do this we have to use max function max of this value and I will use max again
since I have used max function and then we'll have to use a group by clause here since we have the source phone number available here so I'll have to group by so let's run this code so now you can see we have got first call and the last call value so if you see the source phone number with having value 2345 it is having the first call and the end call and that uh, and similarly for the source phone number 3311 it is having the first call and the end call end call value now the job is very easy we can easily compare the first call with the last call and uh, we can easily compare and we can set the flag so let's see how i'm going to do with query so now i'm going to let's give as last call yeah. now what i'm going to do i'm going to treat this full code as a sub query and then i'm going to select select phone number source phone number comma case when case when first call is equal to last call then let's say it's flag it as y when copy copy this again paste it over here when first call is not equal to last call then flag it as n and we can give end and we give alias as it is underscore match we'll give now from so if i if i let's give as alias as b now if i run this full piece of code you can see we have source phone number 2345 and is having is match equal to y and source phone number double three double one is having is match is equal to n so this is what was expected in the output table now i will be showing you how to solve this problem by other method by using first va first value function and the last value function so let me write the code select select star from table name phone log now i'm going to substitute a star with source sorry source phone number comma then i am going to use first underscore value in that I'm going to give the destination phone number and then I'm going to use over clause and then partition by source phone number sorry source phone number and then I am going to order by call start date time so this will fetch the first call made so we will give as alias as first similarly 
I'm going to derive another column by using last underscore value and I'm going to pass the column name as destination phone number and then I'm going to use over clause in that I'm going to write partition by partition by source phone number order by call start date time and I have to use over here rows between unbounded preceding preceding and unbounded following we'll close the parenthesis and we'll give as alias as last call so if i if i run this code let's see so you can see we have got the first call value and the last call value for each source number source phone number now what we have to do i have to simply use distinct over here and if i run this now you can see that for each source phone number we got the first call value and the last call value now we don't have to do anything simply i'm going to copy this part and i will paste over here and this now this query this complete query will act as a sub query and will give alias as let's say a so if i run this you got the same answer so you can see the you can compare it with previous result as well so if i run this you can see we got the same answer over here by both the two methods and that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do subscribe my channel and do like it thank you and thanks for watching